Hi, what's up, people? This is School DJ GV Jad, and you're watching The Truth with Olisa. Subscribe to this channel and get the truth out of everyone. Word. Welcome to The Truth with Olisa. My name is Olisa. What we try and do on this show every time we bring it is to give you people who are really making things happen. Not just new, but people been around for a while, the influencers, the tastemakers, to go through the different layers of who they are, what they do, to bring you the truth, the essence of their being. And today, I'm lucky enough, privileged, sitting in a lap of luxury at the Squareville, you know what I'm saying, the mansion. I got Peter, I got Paul. Basically, P Square in the building. Welcome to Truth, guys. Thank you, Thank you very, very much. much. How you guys doing? How you guys doing, everybody? We love you all. We're in the building. No, he's in our building. Oh, yeah, I'm in the, I'm in the building. Yeah, that's right. And, it, and what a building it is. We'll tell you more about it. We're going to talk more about the house later on and also plans of big things that go on. All right, let's kick off the show. P squared, how many years now? 15, 16? Uh, 17. 17 years? Yeah. Wow, it's a long journey. Let's start with you, Peter. Did you think you guys would be doing this thing after all these years? Honestly speaking, if, if I say yes, I'm a, I'm a biggest liar. Mm -hmm. The truth is, um, Alisa, um, sometimes we, we, we've come a long way. Mm -hmm. that sometimes when I look back, I'll be like, is this really us? Today, somebody played uh, Senorita. And yeah. Watching, and the person said, look at you. Uh -huh. This is you. How, look at the transformation. So for me, I think it's been a long journey, but it mm -hmm. was worth it. Okay, you enjoyed it, enjoyed every single moment of it. Every single moment, with a, with a little regret, though, in, mm -hmm. ter in terms of what goes around, you know. Okay, you know, there's some things, some negative stuff, yeah, that happens that people will just be like, Oh, they actually did this, yeah, but they never did it, and yeah. So, but for me, I think so far, the, 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 the advantage is the, the positive side is more, yeah, to the negative, but that's part of the territory, the negativity, yeah, you know, if you are making a, a difference. There wouldn't be a negativity. People wouldn't notice or people wouldn't try and talk yeah, about course, it. Of course. That's it. All right, let's get to you, Paul. Yeah. Now, by the way, you see, a lot of people used to have problems. People used to ask me, which one's Peter, which one's Paul? <laughs> this is before you, you cut your hair, before your dreads grew. <laughs> now you can tell a bit more, you know, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is Peter and this is Paul. Okay, let's get that. Okay, now, you guys started a long time ago. In, uh, when you were back in school and everything, getting, you, getting your grind on. Yeah, yeah. Tell us about those kind of... I know we spoke about it a long time ago yeah. at one, uh, one, one of those... Um, I think we were in Johannesburg. Yeah. How did it get started? How did you guys... How were those early shows? I think for Peace Square, we were just these young boys in the street. We were busy playing soccer. Our aim was soccer then because mm -hmm. after the Olympics, the Nigerian won. Mm -hmm. We all, we that was the one with Kanu exactly. and uh, yeah. And then the president then now started giving a message, this V boot and stuff. Man, we went back to football. <laughs> then we were singing in the church mm -hmm. and, and uh, all of a sudden we realized that we're, you know, when you start singing in the church, you start there will be like end of the year, something going on in the church mm -hmm. or wedding or started performing. We just realized that we we're spending more money in soccer. But making little money from the music, music. in the church, okay. like uh, performing wedding, they spray mm -hmm. you. Sometimes they make one thousand five, mm -hmm. you know. And was to us was like, man, this is big, mm -hmm. you know. So we started from there. Then all of a sudden, we just said, okay, let's try something outside, you know. We started singing outside, mm -hmm. which is like doing a cappella, mm -hmm. you know. We started doing a cappella, and people were loving and they were paying us. Then, uh, then Peter was busy. He has his own group too. He has mm -hmm. his own group where he was. The leader dancing group, Smoke Raven House. So we were handling that boat. I was in the singing side, he was in the dancing mm -hmm. aspect. So unfortunately, everything just one period. We all wrote jams. We, want, um, we, we went to different universities, both the dancers, mm -hmm. the singers, everybody scattered. We just both of us remaining in school, same school. So we're like, man, what is going on? Are we going to quit this or what? He said, man, which will, let's try and do something in school. I'm sorry from school, but without, without knowing the name, because somebody just, people were confused in school then, right? Uh, is this Peter? Is this Paul? Well, he just said P Square. A friend of ours started calling us P Square. So that's how the name came about? That's how the name. A friend of ours called okay. Richard. He gave us the name P Square. And then we just wrote, a, I just wrote a song. Um, you don't see them P Square. They don't call. And we did, we did a song in Abuja there. The song got leaked everywhere. Before you know something, we started going to Kaduna, Kano, Bauchi, performing. And there and there, 
he said, okay, no, let's try, you know, Sinorita, let's dance. Mm -hmm. you know, everything started coming like a joke. You know, music is there, the dancing is there. We are still imitating Michael Jackson at the same time. Mm -hmm. We formed some group of guys when I called ourselves Luciano Boys. You know, like that, gradually, gradually. Then, until the competition, if you remember, yeah. all these based in the energy. Yeah, Golden Tones, right? Exactly. Mm -hmm. So, when we had that opportunity, we have to go back to the church and use the same band we were using that was playing for us. Come and play this song. Man. So, you guys basically corrupted the church band. Into <laughs> <laughs> And I thought it was my mom's church. Was oh, okay, my mom's okay. Church. My mom, she kind of was so she was like, okay, you guys use them. We use the guys and they allowed us. And that was the first time I saw Santa. Okay. Santa. And I will, I will never forget this moment. Actually, we got our band late because we got the form late. The next day was audition. So we rehearsed in the morning, going for the audition in the evening. And when we got to the venue, they said they've locked the kids, soldiers everywhere, we couldn't enter. So because this is a stadium that we are used to, mm -hmm. we know there's a short one hole somewhere. So me and my sister, Peter them were outside, me and my sister now went inside. So I started begging. Somebody that just saw wearing the best in the edge stop. Who was out of time? Mm -hmm. sister, please, I'm sorry. Uh, he said, look, it's over. I should forget. I started begging and that's okay. He can only give us five minutes. To audition. That to we audition. Should go, we should go on stage. Me and my sister. I said, no, no, no. The bands are outside. That's how he followed me to the gate. They allowed the band, they came inside. On a good day, they were giving everybody 10, 10 minutes. The guy, then how we then was the old guy. He said, where are you? Look at this boys. Where I go? Two minutes, they should just do and get out. Bro, they play two minutes, we just perform. They, they just stop us. Out of like 50, 70 people, they went to call like final 20. They called the 19, we just gave up. The next 20 was us. Ah, <laughs> brilliant. Oh, That's a good story. Yeah. I like that, I like that. Uh, also, there's a, a little story that you, I think you guys told me some time ago about how when you were in uni, you'd be, somebody would be selling tickets at the gate, the other person would be singing, oh my God. the other person would be dancing. That was even after the best night. Yeah. I mean, I mean in, during our school days in mm -hmm. the University of Abuja, Peter and Paul, we, 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 are, organi we are the organizers. Mm -hmm. We are the performers. You see the poster, it says, uh, uh, Peace Square Life, also featuring Smooth criminals. <laughs> Like, the dancing group, owned by yeah. MMP, a cappella group. So he has Michael, Melvin, Peter. And Paul. Oh. You now see uh, Jida and the guitarist. I play a guitar for one girl. She's like, <laughs> the girl's name is Jida and the guitarist. I am the guitarist. So you had like five acts there, oh but, my God. but no. the five acts were two of you. At the end there, uh -huh. I'm going to co host the sh show in uh -huh. terms of the MC. Uh -huh. Him, he will be at the gate making sure the money is safe. <laughs> <laughs> He's been oh doing that. He's been doing oh that since for 17 God. years now. And guess what? The, the one, the most surprising part is that within the you know uh, the, area, the the school area, uh -huh. University of Abuja, you see we are the one posting the poster. People just come ah, this school they perform. Yes, we they perform. <laughs> we testing the posters and all that. Trust me, University of Abuja can testify to this. It was a struggle that at the end of the day, when I sit back on this, I just be like, see, no matter what happens today, mm -hmm. I think God has been. God has been. It's been good. It's been a good journey. Mm -hmm. All right, let's start with that part. That part of that journey. Mm -hmm. uh, the first time I met you guys uh, was at that Golden Tones. Mm -hmm. Then after that, you came round to the uh, radio station with uh, Senorita. Yeah. You were on Timbuktu Records with Howie T. Howard. Whatever happened with that journey? Because yeah. I know after, we know we did. We just heard that after a while that P Squared and Timbuktu Records were no longer together. How did that? It was more like the, the uh, contract expired. Mm -hmm. Expired and uh, not that we, we didn't want like to to. To, to renew, like, yeah. Renew, but we just felt it's time that we can move on. Mm -hmm. We can move on. Yeah. And also, because we're done with school already. Mm -hmm. The fact that we were done with school that period, and we moved, we wanted to move into Lagos. We wanted to like be responsible for ourselves. Mm -hmm. You don't need to like because if that we're outside and somebody's managing our affairs in Lagos, we're better. But the fact that we're now in Lagos, we're like you know what. We want to handle this. I mean, not, there was mm -hmm. no fight, no quarrel. It was mm -hmm. peaceful one. You know, we, we, and did, we, still, do we, still, we still do business. Okay, well, was it was it hard uh, starting on your own? Uh, let me tell you, I think this is a very interesting part in Lagos that I even after two weeks, me and Jude were left. We left Peter for like three <laughs> months in Lagos. It was oh, tough, eh? Huh? I was. couldn't stand it. First of all, it was hectic. The noise. The get looking for an apartment. Do you know we had for us to even get the, for them to even accept giving us that two bedroom flat that we got, we have to Jude have to meet another woman and plan that their husband and wife before they could give the house. house. Oh. You know the police in Lagos. Yeah. So they're they're not married. Young, young boys. boys yeah. Yeah. You know, and 
when we now move into the Lagos system, our eyes open. I think that was the first time we even met at the club with you. Yeah. You know? And that period was hectic. No, we met at the library, not the club. <laughs> so, <laughs> life then in Lagos was just too hectic that, you know, this packaging of it, everybody needs to show that you've got, then I will see the plantation boys, the remedy, the young boys. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, I'll be like, man, when will I ever get to this part? These people are making things happen and like joke, man. Okay, let's talk about this new album now. Got a new single, uh, you released three new singles, um, one with T.I., one with another, Dave Scott. Dave Scott, and then one with just you guys, Shakira. Yeah. So tell us about what's the idea. The first one I'm, I'm really, I'm really feeling right now is the one with Ti. Yeah. It's got a bit of a Michael Jackson vibe. Is that on, on purpose? Uh, uh, for me, I don't think it's a Michael Jackson. But I think you know we, we sat down ourselves and so, you know after testimony, so listen, guys, let's surprise these fans. Let's give them something they never got. Different. Something different. You know, we hear people on radio all the time. So, oh, everybody's doing the same old mm. thing and all that. Sometimes I have, I have some friends. Um, uh, sometimes they just walk past by the TV and look at the TV and like, oh, ah, they're still playing this song. I say, no, this is not song. I say, ah, which one did they play? They say, because the British begin to look yeah. at like they said. So I now say one day, I say, listen, we need to just say, what the fuck now as well? I say, listen, guys, let's come up with something fresh. Mm -hmm. Something fresh, something that people just listen like, okay. Okay, see that they don't feel them, or they feel them. Mm -hmm. Or even yeah, they're not feeling like it's a job well done. So we came up with the Jajo, a friend of ours who is VTech. He produced the beat, he brought the idea. As soon as he brought it, we were, some of us were not buying the idea. But I sat down, get into the studio, I did the first verse. And I came out, everyone loved it. So when I said to ourselves, listen, we cannot just, if you put out this song just like that, without a video, too much criticism. People will start criticizing, oh, come on, this is not what we expect. Let's do a video to, to it. But before then, we've already had a plan of doing a song with TI. Okay. Now, the song we have already sounds more like um, the beautiful, beautiful yeah. and new yeah. style. It's tattooed Informa. So Are we still going to hear that yeah. one? It's yes, it's okay. in the album. Yeah. But someone said to ourselves, okay, listen, let's do it. Then, as soon as we got to the stage, we just said to ourselves, this song is going to end up like beautiful and new. Beautiful and new. Informa, same high life, you know, mid-tempo. Let's do it, Jaju. And, you know, as soon as T.I. heard the song, so this is what I'm talking about. Let's mm -hmm. do this. And we, we, we didn't even wait for us, but we were on the phone talking. When I agreed that we were going to meet in the studio that evening, by the time we came, he has done his song. He's done his own verse. He's done his own verse. Already. He's done 16. Listen, dropped it. You guys listen to it. No, I think I love it. I love and it. And the moment we listen to it, you know, it's okay, good. Okay, just give us an intro. You know, UT, just say P squared here. Mm -hmm. Just did it straight. Yeah, I did it. Switch it up. No, I, got a, I, got, I like the song, don't get me wrong. Now, do you think that your videos actually help your songs more? Because a lot of people said, personally, it was just there up until you guys did that tribute to Michael in the video. Personally, that it came he, out. That he, that he helped to make the song blow up. I think for, for, for us, look at it, look at look at what personally did for Peace Square first mm -hmm. of all. I'm, we are great fans of Michael Jackson. I never believed today I'm going to be close to the Jackson family mm -hmm. until personally came out. When personality came out, in less than three days, we got a call from the Jackson family. And we thought they were joking mm -hmm. until they sent us, sent us a video. And uh, we since then, we went to LA, we went, okay. to LA, went to Jackson's uh, family house. Next thing, today, as we're talking to you, we're very close to the Jacksons. Mm -hmm. They're doing a, a kind of an album trip next year, and Peace Pure. They're looking at bringing us on board. Okay, that's good. Now, Great. Jermaine Jackson flew in here two months ago, all by himself. He said, I want to be on your album. He, they would love to be, because he promised he was going to come. And I thought it was a joke. Next thing he was here, we recorded in the studio here. So that shows you the impact. It's not just, you know, people shouldn't, even, another thing is that, peace people were we are risking. We are not scared of it. Personally, it was a new style too. Mm -hmm. So we're risk we would love to do it. If Peace Pure, if we don't try to change things, I, I don't expect upcoming. Mm -hmm. Our people have not been into the game for a long right. time to do it, but it's us. Like the video, you might say so because for us, we'll be here for now. Mm -hmm. You know? So May 6th album. Who has succeeded? Who? Mm -hmm. So I think it's it's something that we 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 look back and be like, you know what, 
we've really done well okay. for ourselves. Uh, you, there's no doubt about that. I mean, you've done well in, I mean, in Nigeria, around Africa, around the world. Now, how does it work when you get in the studio? Uh, who does what? Because I know sometimes when you're in a group, you might want, do you decide, okay, some of Paul's ideas or some of Peter's ideas, you do half-half. So, okay, this time, you, we, we agreed with your idea last time, we do my idea this time. How does it work for you guys? Well, the way it works for us in the studio is most times, well, everybody needs to understand and respect each other's parts that he, okay. you know, he plays, you know. Um, I'm, I'm majorly the guy when it comes to studio, mm -hmm. you know. He brings songs, I bring songs, everybody create an idea. Um, that's how it works for us. Like now, they judge you now, it's everything Peter. Mm -hmm. The idea, whatever, everything is for him. And that's why, if you notice the video, I'm just the guy in the background, almost of the guy in the background, <laughs> he's doing everything, you know. So for us in the studio, it's 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 live as long as everybody respects what the other person does, the person or brings does, the table, yeah. You know, brings the table. That there, there must be dialogue. There must be argument. Mm -hmm. You must argue. So who wins the argument in the end? Who decides? Okay, who who, who yeah, you, is, it, is it? Is it superior time. idea wins yeah, the argument? I think what really works for us now mm -hmm. is when we work in the studio. Is the amount if if Paul is working in the studio without me? Because the good thing that we normally do is if Paul is in the studio, I don't go there. So, but once I enter there, I go in there and I'll be like, Ghost. and I'm ghost stuck. Next thing when I go out, I can't tell you, I feel out the song that Paul is doing in the studio. When the studio started filling up, that song must be on the album. So, for example, we're about to release about 16 track album. Doesn't mean we don't have up to 30. Mm -hmm. But the rest is the type that nobody have ever come to the studio and said, hey, please play that song again. For okay. Me. So it means. So you test it out first with the people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. now, sometimes, like for me, I have a strategy that works for me. If I'm working in the city, I don't need Paul or Jude. I don't need them. Okay. Well, I'll do the song and I'll go to the pool area and, and I'll put in the Bluetooth speakers and I'll play. Now, when I'm playing that song, I watch, I'll be watching people. I watch the next person. Oh man, I love this song. If nobody says that, then it's not going anywhere. Mm -hmm. Then, even if I'm trying to convince them to mm -hmm. listen to the song, I'm playing the song and I'm. Maybe Paul and Jude and other guys are listening to this song. Nancy Jude starts, hey, hey, how far that? I know that mm -mm. to them. It's not working. They, they, they didn't hear anything. They didn't feel it. They didn't feel it. Okay. So. All right, good. So good. To, that's how we know you guys are working. Now, you guys, brothers, close, many years. You're now married men. How has that changed your, your relationship with each other? I know before it was like, a, you know, close knit family, everyone living together. Now you've got kids, you've got wives. Uh, what's changed about about everything? Well, nothing has really changed presently now because we are married, we got kids, but we are still living together. Mm -hmm. In terms of, in terms, what I mean, like we're living together, like here because of the studio, mm -hmm. because we're working on our exactly. album for the past three months. But I have a, a personal house, mm -hmm. Lucky. He has a personal house, in Lucky. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, we have a new house where it's it's not like it's like a, it's, everybody has his own. How but not close by each other. Okay. Yeah, Jude has his own power. So he built a mini estate where everyone has their own. Yeah, but it's fenced. Okay. But he's living on his own mm -hmm. in Ikoi. Mm -hmm. So that that we're moving like in a couple of like two three months from now. Okay. Okay. So um, that we still want to stay. You know, we still want to stay close by. If I have an inspiration, I don't have to go very far to look for Paul okay. or Jude. Are or you gonna have or studios or inside the complex? No, no, of course we do. Yeah. I mean, it's it's, it's a very Lovely idea. That would I think it's a great idea. It yeah. that close. All right, let's let's talk about you know if this the truth is that's what it's called, mm -hmm. and you know that it wouldn't be fair. You guys had a little uh, little rift not yeah. too long ago. Everything was settled. It's settled now. Mm -hmm. What what was it about? Was it to do with money? Was it to do with family? Yeah, was it to? Yeah, I'm gonna be very. The truth is yeah? not about the truth. It has nothing to do with money. It has nothing to do with women. Mm -hmm. It's just a normal thing that the way you argue with yeah. or quarrel with your siblings. Okay, it's normal. People, the only sad thing about it that only said it was got out, Abi. He got out, yeah. and people wouldn't have. After when it was happening, we were still performing in shows, mm -hmm. so people took our private life to our business, mm -hmm. which I don't blame them. Mm -hmm. I don't blame these fans. I think we owe them a lot of apology. I don't blame them, but but for the fact that they t they took it too far. Mm -hmm. Yes, I am poor hard. No, it's not, it's not even a rape. Mm -hmm. I think it was a mere argument. It was. It was more like. Okay, what was the argument about? It, I think it's it about was, music. It's about okay, music. music. It's and it got scored out of hand or what? It, okay, it, let's go. Let me give you an example. What is what is like? Okay, it's like. You see, um, when it comes to music, 
I'm somebody that even if I want to bring something new, mm -hmm. even if I want to bring something new, the new stuff I have to bring, I still want to maintain it us. Mm -hmm. Okay? But he wanted to bring something different. And it, for me, it was like, you cannot change some kind of how we do things. If you want to change, bring it gradually. Mm -hmm. But you can't just switch fast. Okay. Immediately. It's going to affect, it's going to hit us. Mm -hmm. So it has to do with the music, the song selecting the album, mm -hmm. you know, because there are some songs he prefers. And, mm -hmm. that prefer. and this, happened, this thing has happened before. Okay. During the days of Doomy. Okay. Yeah. Same thing like, like you remember in Doom, during the days of Doomy, I never liked Doomy. I never liked Doomy. You sure? Yes. In fact, how, well, he, how, he, he did a good act, but someone liked how, it. How, you. How, how we finally ended up in selecting that song with Jude now? Because we had about 30, 20, 28 songs. Mm -hmm. Say, Peter, choose your best five. five. Paul, choose your best five. The Paul's best five, Doomy was inside. I never selected it. So that was how we released that album. Although Paul won, because in that album, no one like you. Um, no one like if you. Nanya. If Nanya. No, no, all his, all his own selection. His own selection went far. But mine, mine was more like the role it was the one more than a friend wasn't. You know. Mm -hmm. So th those are the things that it happens in every mm -hmm. album. So, but, you know the truth. Let me be very honest. That's why it's this called whole, truth. This, this whole mm -hmm. fight, quarter between mm -hmm. people, is for it's for the it's for the fans. Okay. We're fighting this. Okay. We're actually doing because we're trying to bring out the best mm -hmm. for ourselves. If we had just said, oh, we'll release They're anything, really, yeah. and at this point we were more drunk. At so, the end of the day, we'll start looking for who to play. The mm -hmm. fact that when people started hearing that, and uh, they started directing it to someone, if it's not Jude, it is their wife, it is mm -hmm. not this, it is that. And, it, and at the end, I look at it and say, well, we have a price to pay, and this is the price we are paying. Mm -hmm. okay. Who send us go day popular? You know, fame is a, I say fame <laughs> is a double edged sword, so you have to be careful. Yeah. All right, well, good to see this peace and harmony in Squareville. And what a, what, a, what a nice peaceful harmony this place <laughs> is. All right, so we're going to be talking now. Peace Squared, brand new album, brand new songs. Let's talk about other things that happened in your lives. Now, when you were bachelors, there's a question that's been bugging me because twins do it a lot. Did you ever share the same woman? Never. Maybe we don't, but we don't know. We don't know, but never. Mm. Not at the same time? No, 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 no okay. never. <laughs> Yeah. But you know, it's, yeah. it can happen. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. possible. You didn't play that game that twins play when you pretend to be, because then you, I, I, then I, you, you I, look, I, you look the same. I will have the I, I face panel University of Abuja will, will, will hit me for that. Face, face you did that school panel because of I have to cut my hair uh -huh. because of Paul. Because the, the people couldn't tell who was who. Yeah, they couldn't tell. I, so you meet Paul's girlfriend, and then Paul will meet your I girlfriend. I pretended to be Paul, and I faced the school panel because yeah. he wasn't. He was scared to okay. attend. So Did I, they ever find out? They never did. Today they didn't know it was me. Okay. It was me. All right. Sorry, lecturers. <laughs> <laughs> I faced the school panel. Okay. I mean, I mean it was somehow. Like, they couldn't tell you? They couldn't tell. I had pony tell them. Uh -huh. you know, but he has little kind of outfit. Uh -huh. I have to just cut my head to look like him. And then. Uh, I wow. Now, in terms of your recreation, when you're not in recording, how do you unwind? Well, for us, I think uh, we chill. Uh, we hardly go out. Mm -hmm. We go out for a reason. If I'm crossing my gate, if I'm not going for interview, if it has to do music business, if I'm not going out and bringing money in, mm -hmm. I chill at home. <laughs> okay. Yeah. We're more like, like an indoor people. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're more like, but like maybe, maybe for the past, because I mean, once in a while, I, I yeah. do see you guys in the clubs. Yeah. But I mean, when you go out there, that, that you make it like once in the six months. Huh? That club you're seeing us, we just finished performing a concert. Yeah, concert. yeah, yeah. So there must be a reason somewhere, mm -hmm. maybe in Lagos, yeah. on our way. Instead of going home, back home, and we just have to. So is it, does it get harder as you get older? I know in terms of performances. I, to be honest, we are... I know you guys, you guys keep fit, you work best, out a lot. This is the best moment mm -hmm. that I've ever, you know, experienced mm -hmm. ever since in our career. You know, I, I, there was a time I used to say, ah, the more we get older, it's going to be difficult. Mm -hmm. To be honest with you, it's way, way easier mm -hmm. now. I mean, like, we do this, like the album, the, the, the Double Trouble album we're doing now, and the title of the album is called mm -hmm. Double Trouble, sorry. Now, the Double Trouble album is the most fun album. Mm -hmm. We are in the studio, we're having fun, and we're doing the album. Before, it used to be stressful. I mean, how are we going to do? How are we going to do? Mm -hmm. But now, like the more we grow older, the more easier it becomes, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and that's exactly what it is. that's yeah. why I'm, and the technology has improved. I've improved too, so 
you don't do much. So you see yourself more, you know, as you get older, more conscious music, more music that makes people think. Exactly. That's, that's, that's where you go, you know, less music. music. You mind what you see. Because and the message, yeah, you have message, more serious messages. Kids, yeah. mm -hmm. You have kids, mind the kind of words you use. Yeah, okay. You know, because Trust me, some people are listening. Okay. They're listening. All right. So like, I, I, I sometimes I just post a picture on Instagram, like, ah, you're a madman, why is he doing it? <laughs> I heard about a picture of you, something, yeah. I don't know what it was. Some girls were grabbing you, you were on stage or something like that. They were grabbing a certain part of your body. My show business. Uh, it wasn't your ears, that's for sure. <laughs> it should be, but my wife is not complaining. Okay. All right, <laughs> no. paying the bills. Speaking of bills, how much money you guys make last year? I'm not going to say, but I think Peace Square will not reach. No, because, no, very no, because you guys fill out stadiums all over Africa. What, why are you so popular around Africa? What do you, what do you think it is that you guys... I think I know what it is. I think it's, it's, I know. What is it? Because... Well, we, we, we do things that Africans... If, if, not, if we are like light-skinned, mm -hmm. they will say these guys are not Africans. Africans. So for the fact that they appreciate the fact that we do things like... Let me give you an example. Let me start with Jude. Mm -hmm. Jude... Has been shooting all our videos. Even some people still today, still today they see doubt is Jude that's doing it because mm -hmm. they never imagined that he could call like mm -hmm. or that, yeah. come up with such concept, ideas and yeah. concept mm -hmm. and the videos are top notch. Now for P Square, what do they do? They sing, they dance, mm -hmm. they produce, they, they play sing. every musical mm -hmm. instrument on stage. They, they make it energetic. I mean, people mm -hmm. they'll be like, okay, you know what? This are, it got to a point. Even people started comparing us with Usher. Mm -hmm. They even say, oh, we copy Usher. Sorry, look at me. But you've heard that before now. People saying that yeah, uh, like the P squared or like <laughs> they said P squared jack people other people's beats. No. Did you ever hear that? You see, let me tell you. Did you ever hear that? That part, mm -hmm. I will tell you people the truth or not mm -hmm. the truth because this is all about the truth. Let me tell you when this thing came up with. He has to do, you know, a rapper can rap, eh? He can rap, 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 and I switch over and I say, ready or not, here, here I come. come. Mm -hmm. You can yeah. have, you know where the word came from. Mm -hmm. Does that mean the rapper still copied something? Mm -hmm. Come on. We did this thing came up when we did busy body. busy body. Okay. And the busy body was uh, Mr. Rainy or not. Here yeah, I come. This you became, can hide. This became, became, fire. And you can, it just switched. And next thing, the same big square copy car. Okay, I took it that way. Like, let me tell you something. Even to today. And that's one thing I love about us. Mm -hmm. And it's anytime I get that kind of expression, I tell Peter this song is a hit. Yeah. You know why? Mm -hmm. Because anytime we we'll come up with something, you can remember when that. Okay, let me start from the recent ones. When Alingo came out, what did they say? Ah, as I was doing it. Then We I came out with personally, did Mark Jackson, put Mark Jackson in the background. They said, we saw Mark Jackson. Jackson. <laughs> Listen, what? Are you, are you there? Okay. Okay. <laughs> 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 Like we had Michael Jackson. Yeah, every move we did, yeah. every mm -hmm. outfit was Michael It was a tribute to Michael Jackson, yeah. Then, come on, man. Mm -hmm. We just came out with a song now, yeah. mm -hmm. um, which is. Uh, the one with T.I. Mm -hmm. I see here, they're doing Asha, they are doing Asha, I took it back. The Shekinu that have not even done the video, they say, they copy Shoki. Mm -hmm. I say, nah man, now nah, they give me food and they chop, <laughs> <laughs> like they do it. Alright, nice one. I think, I think the, the major thing that's causing it, like for me, they look at me and they say, ah, this guy, they're trying to copy Asha. Please, can Asha sing a song like to me? Can Asha yeah. sing a song mm -hmm. like, you know, easy. you know, easy. Is it because I look like him or he looks like me? Mm -hmm. I mean, it's a privilege, man. I don't look like one of those mm -hmm. guys in the street. Mm -hmm. So I'm good. It's good. I'm good. You're I'm, good with that. I'm, I'm, I'm good looking. Man. <laughs> no, we know that. A lot of girls agree with that as well. Now, now I've got to ask you, um, the question I asked before, how much money did P Square make last year? You guys, you guys dodged it like a bullet. Okay, let me help you out. I'm not, I don't call fee. Mm. But I, I think we'll go that. Okay, over 100 million. Let's start with some figures. 100 million, 200 million naira. Three hundred, two million dollars. How much land is good? Okay, that's a few billion. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys bought a uh, land in Parkview in Ikoi, so that's like about one and a half billion. How many? How much did you pay for the land? Lisa, just. Lisa, what did you pay? people want to know. No, I think for me, I think guys, don't mm -hmm. get it twisted. You guys are made with so we successful. I'm not gonna mm -hmm. lie to you guys. We have to, you know, give God the glory, and we have to say thank you to you guys and. Uh, and don't, and don't get it twisted, we're still doing a lot for the society. Okay. I mean, you heard what we do when we travel out. Yes, we make all this money when we travel outside the country, the pure hundreds of them. How much you charge for a show now? A lot. Want to say. Outside Nigeria. Outside lot. Nigeria. But they know the truth, but we still give out 10%. Call okay. dude behind and you tell you. Okay. I mean, I, I, we give out 10% of 
Mm. Oh, yeah. That country that we go to, okay. we do that. We, we must have seen what we do with mm. donate and all that. But what about here? When you play we here, do, we do yeah. here. Too. Okay, okay. I mean, come on. Okay. Know, I don't like the time where people. Charity do begins at home. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah we do. We okay. do it here too. But you know, the truth is that sometimes you do it. If I do it here, people don't see us. They might not even show it. Okay. But when we do it out there, people in that country will want to pull it out. Oh my God, they did this. Mm. We've been doing it here. What do you guys see yourself in five years' time? I what are you going to do? Five years? Yeah. You still be in the music industry? Still killing it. Still yeah. Killing it, like on album number 10? No, that should be album number 8. Okay, eight. okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll, be, we'll be, trust me, like I said, we, the more we're getting older, it mm. becomes easier mm. and more flexible. Okay. Yeah, within the past uh, six months, I, I could tell you, man, things have been smooth. That's good. What do you like most about your brother? Um, he's stubborn. Okay. His, his stubbornness has. Like kept peace square on uh, on a level whereby. Um, so you like his stubbornness. It's good because he, <laughs> he has helped us. I would have been mm -hmm. someone like me. I'm I'm very easy to mm -hmm. grow with. Okay. If I say I'm I'm, I'm too nice to for. Okay. I don't even have the mind to say no. Mm -hmm. Someone will just ask me for something. I will even I will look at the person. I say I say no. It looks as if I don't want to help. Mm -hmm. So, uh, but his stubbornness has really like helped to give me this. Mm -hmm. Stronger and confidence. What else do you like about him? Um, I would say, I would say, musically. Mm -hmm. Let me say music. Musically, it put a stick to his mind and say, "This is what I want to do in a song." Like he came up with abatically. Mm -hmm. That's everybody said, "What is abatically? What is abatic?" So Paul can just bring up a new word, and mm -hmm. next thing is okay. out there. So musically, I think he sticks to what he wants mm -hmm. to do. Not even uh, we have a triangle that we work with. It's Peter, Paul, Jude. But Paul is on his own. <laughs> uh, Paul is on his own. If he if he just says this is what I want, not in, I mean that he has this confidence and several times and he gets he's it always done. winning. Uh, exactly. So, uh, what do you like about your brother? Well, I think um, for our, when it comes to music, entertainment as general, I think when it has to do with. Uh, what people know about P Square is him. Okay. Maybe he's more, more the inside. Yeah. He's more upfront, he's, you know. He's more of upfront because me, I don't get people time. Mm -hmm. That's why he's called Rude Boy. Exactly. Rude Boy. <laughs> all, the, all the social media. <laughs> social media all, like, mm -hmm. yeah, I'm, I'm not. Mm -hmm. Any news you hear about P Square is Peter. Okay. Yeah, because, uh, me, I tell people, some people say, you don't have six pack. You don't have six pack. Mm -hmm. You have one pack. I have one mm -hmm. pack. Buy a pack. <laughs> so, so I think when musically on that aspect, he, he, the, uh, if I was a, just a normal musician, I would be one of those musicians that people would just say, man, this guy is good, but where is he? Okay. You get what I'm saying? I'm not out there. They wouldn't see you out there. I'm not, I'm, I'm only, oh, the concert, the interview, the meeting, you know. Well, I, I, I kind of, I've never seen myself just I'm going for an event. Mm hmm Never. Okay. You know? So All right. That's the musical aspect. Man. Personal life, I think I, I think I like about him. He, he he's somebody that he brings an idea that if you don't agree, he will prove it. Okay. See that part. Even this house, I would have turned this house upside down. I, 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 I did this. If okay. I was the one I did the designing Good this job. house, I didn't tell him. If I was the one designing this house, I would have turned it upside down. But it'll be one big studio, probably. Exactly. So <laughs> he he is somebody he can he's, because he's more of out there. He comes in with something, and we too. Bro, look, and I said, "Let's go this way. And let's go." <laughs> so he's he's like more of a researcher. He finds out something outside there and he brings it in from you know, and that's what I like about him. So me, I can never sit down like this and create something apart from music. Mm -hmm. Anything outside music, it comes from him. All right, fantastic, guys. I want to say thanks for sharing the time and your space, your lovely house with with, with, you. with me right here on the truth. You have any message you want to give to listeners, viewers out there? Well, for any me, I, I'll say to all our fans. Uh, first of all, I want to say um, sincerely, we apologize uh, for um, the whole thing that that the happened. Whole saga. Uh, mm -hmm. The whole saga, the whole Square saga. We promise it won't happen again. Uh, in as much we we all regretted everything, mm -hmm. and at the same time, I want to tell you guys, thanks for your prayers, thanks for the support. I mean, I had a lot of people saying, you know what. Peter, if you lose your own solo, solo mm. single, we will not buy it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, 
<laughs> what you guys together? So, yeah. um, thank you guys. It was very encouraging. It shows that. Mm. So it became a national problem. Yeah, that yeah. wasn't. Uh, it wasn't your accountant calling you guys and telling you the guys no, I, come. I think, not, I think we started uh, getting, that, we started getting, we started getting calls, calls from, from the shows. top, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. from uh, big shows, yeah, big shows. Even shows. some president of outside Nigeria. Nigeria. Yeah, I got, I, we got a um, Malawi president call, call okay. to make That's sure that we you know. She just called. She actually came to Nigeria. So it was becoming like a national problem. So we had uh, the Malawi uh, president. She called. And uh, everybody started calling from, I mean, I, I can't name names. Mm -hmm. But, but everyone's saying the same thing. Was, you got you to say, say it together. Everyone was saying the same. Yeah. But the good thing is that the fans were more. The fans were more, mm -hmm. you know, touchy. I, I see a lot of them in front of the house. Mm -hmm. They come, people shedding tears, you know, based on what they heard. Because right. I, I was even, I have to go away. I, I don't, it took me like three weeks. I wasn't even in this house. I never came here. Was my family in Lekki and all that. So, you guys, I want to say thank you very much. You guys did well. And we promise you guys, we're back strong. We never went anywhere, by the way. Not even back. <laughs> we're even stronger, man. Stronger we're, than ever. The chorus, forget it. Yeah. The people boys. <laughs> <laughs> what you got to say, my man? Well, I think, um, thank you to the fans. You guys are wonderful. But you guys just remember something. We're not ghosts. We're we, humans. We're humans and <laughs> we have, everybody has their own different opinion. And uh, the, the same way everybody quarrels, if it's a normal thing, mm -hmm. what makes us different is that ours is louder. Mm -hmm. you know? So you guys just learn to understand that we're humans. Okay, I eat food the same way you guys eat. Yeah, we just. I go to the toilet to poo the same way everybody I haven't does. seen that, but I've seen him eating. <laughs> I've seen the first part, I've seen. Exactly. The second one, I haven't seen. Uh -huh. so, Mm. So just understand that and we love you guys for what you guys did during those situation bro. God bless you all and God look forward to our next album. Alright, that's it. The truth has been told. Peace Squared, thank you very much. My name is Elisa, the truth of Lisa. We're outie. Enjoy. <laughs>